Hello and welcome to episode three of the Product Running Extra Mile Show. In this episode, we're going to be bringing you a roundup of some of the greatest running moments in 2018 and also giving you some motivation to make 2019 your best running year yet. Plus, we're going to take you through some of the best products you want in your kit bag for 2019 and we've got a huge giveaway to share with you later in the show. So before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the show, like this episode and tell us where you've been running this month. In the last episode, we ran a competition to win an entire outfit of your choosing. Yep, and we're now pleased to announce that the winner is Nick Bennett. Congratulations, Nick. Thank you for entering, and the prize will be on its way to you very soon. Yes, well done, Nick. And if any of you guys missed out on episode two or episode one, you can go back, hit the link now, and watch previous episodes. And please do let us know in the comments below what you thought of those episodes. Let's kick off with the Valencia Marathon. Conditions were perfect in the city for a fast race and the results confirm this, with the top three men all running faster than the previous course record. Lille Gebrselassi broke the tape in a time of two hours, four minutes and 30 seconds. It wasn't just the men's race that was fast, there was a new course record in the women's race also by Ashetti Dido, who set the new record in two hours, 21 minutes and 14 seconds. British runner Steph Twell also put in a fantastic performance on her first ever marathon, finishing in fifth. We also wanted to shout out to one of our friends and regular contributors, Ben Parks, for completing the race in two hours and 25, making him the 36th fastest Briton to run a marathon this year. From the trail, British runner and winner of the CCC at this year's UTMB has confirmed that in 2019 he'll be taking on the world's oldest 100 mile trail race, the Western States 100. Tom wrote on Twitter, so excited to announce that I'll be racing Western States 100 next year. It'll be my first 100 mile race. And finally, we're delighted to hear that Sir Mo Farah will once again run the Virgin Money London Marathon in 2019. If Mo wins the race, he'll become the first British athlete to win the men's elite race since Eamon Martin in 1993. So 2018 has been an amazing year for running products, and although we're rapidly approaching the end of the year, December is a month that still brings a lot of newness. So let's have a look at some of the most exciting new releases. We have new updates in the Wave Sky and the Wave Inspire from our friends at Mizuno. There is a new release for the Sokoni Freedom ISO, and the much loved Adidas Solar Boost. I frequently run in the Solar Boost this year and have really enjoyed it for some of my long runs in the build up to Berlin Marathon. It's a perfect all rounder for anything 5K to marathon, and although it was a brand new shoe for 2018, I think Adidas have really nailed that balance between cushioning for the long runs, response for when you want to step it up a gear, and durability, something that you want every shoe to have. The Adidas Adi Zero range gets a brand new update, which includes an all new Adios 4. This shoe is specifically designed for lightweight speed. It has a close to the road feel and will keep you on your toes. At Pro Direct Running, this shoe is highly sought after with the popular sizes often selling out very quickly. We recently caught up with some of the team at Brooks UK to explain some of the benefits of the new Adrenaline GTS 19, a shoe that's designed for both structured and neutral foot types. Hit the link now to find out more about the tech in this shoe. Nike have also just released some extensive updates to their ever popular Vomero. Taking a lead from the Peg Turbo and Peg 35, the Vomero 14 is radically different from the previous model. One of our biggest call outs this month is the brand new ASICS Gel Nimbus 21, one of the most reliable running shoes you can get. We recently put them to the test to check out some of the new updates. So one of our biggest launches this month is that of the ASICS Gel Nimbus 21. Rather than just show you the shoe, we thought we'd come out of the studio into this beautiful winter weather, give it a run so we can give you our feedback. The Nimbus is in its 21st year and is designed for the neutral runner. It provides a luxury and cushion feel perfect for your recovery runs and also your longer distances. The comfort of the Nimbus comes from the classic ASICS gel cushioning that's found in the back of the foot and also the forefront of the foot. This is then combined with the Flight Foam Propel and the Flight Foam Light that's found in the midsection of the shoe. Now, ASICs say that the new shoe boasts an improved fit over previous models, especially in the toe box and forefoot areas of the shoe. 
Also, the new full contact outsole should provide you with smoother transitions. So let's get them on foot and go for a run. First up, the long run. So we've just come back from a 5K run and I'm happy to say that these feel absolutely great. Yeah, yeah, really comfortable, just as you'd expect from a Nimbus. And like, as a four foot striker, I actually really appreciated the extra room in the toe box. Just allowed my toes to spread and felt really good. And now I guess the other test is to see how they uh, hold up with a bit of pace. Yeah. So that's it for today's test and the shoes did feel really, really good when we picked up the pace. Asics have done a good job of sort of balancing the comfort of the shoe with responsiveness so that they still feel they've got a really nice spring in them. Yeah, and I really enjoyed how they still felt really protected and snug on the foot as well. Mm. Yeah, keep your feet nice and safe when you're running. So guys, the, the Gel Nimbus 21 is available to buy online now in a variety of colours for men and women, so just get online to prodirectrunning.com. Now we know you guys love a giveaway, and this week we have an opportunity for you to win a pair of the brand new ASICS Gel Nimbus 21 for you and a friend. Not only that, you'll also gain free entry to the 2019 ASICS Manchester Marathon. All you've got to do to enter is click the link in the copy below. It's that part of the show where we shout out people that are worthy of a follow. It may be winter, but it hasn't stopped you guys from getting out there and sharing us in your activities. Over on our Strava, James Taylor has kicked off his ultramarathon training with a steady eight miler. Emma Robinson has been enjoying her early morning 5Ks. Good work guys, we'll be tracking your progress on the ProDirect leaderboard. And if you would like to share your progress with us, share your miles, then search for the ProDirect Run Club on Strava or follow the link down below. Rep Run has recently tagged us in an image of them receiving their brand new club kit. Enjoy your winter runs guys and make sure you keep us up to date with hashtag ProDirect Running and hashtag Own Your Run. A big well done to Charlie Sanderson who recently took on the Battersea Park 10K after four weeks out of training. Thanks for the tag, Charlie. And finally, proving that running with friends is one of the best ways to stay motivated through the winter. Only Jim got out on one of his first Macclesfield Forest runs in a while, and he loved it. Thanks for sharing, Only Jim. We are here in Fulham for the Adidas City Runs 10K. Today is not about us hitting PBs, but instead we're gonna help others hit theirs. Running with a pacer can be one of the best ways to stay consistent and make sure you don't let the excitement of race day get the better of you. So we're going to be joining Chris Downing as official pacers for anyone hitting the 45 minute 10K today. I'm Chris Downing, I'm a crew runner from Adidas Runners London. Um, I've been running for a couple of years and I run races from 5K up to marathon. So this is the first race I've paced, um, I've never paced any before. Uh, strategy for today was to try and keep it quite consistent all the way through. With any race at the beginning it can be a bit bunched up, so um, based on that I tried to pick up the pace in the middle of it as well just to make sure we were ahead of the, ahead of the buffer and then we had a little bit of time at the end to, to make sure people got home in, in time. 4K update, well on pace, everyone's having fun. Fulham is looking glorious this morning. I really enjoyed pacing today, it's been a really great experience. Um, I've been helped before in other races by a number of pacers and to be able to give something back to other, other people who've been training so hard to get to those times has been really rewarding. It was really nice catching up with runners at the end of the race, um, giving them a high five and them saying thanks and seeing them achieve their, their goals and get those PBs. I have had people come up afterwards and, and say how nice it was and thank you for the encouragement and the cheering and the letting us know how, how they're getting on and, and it's my job to, to make their life slightly easier. They've not got to be worrying about looking at the watches, etc. I can, I can worry about that and they can focus on the race and try and enjoy it as much as possible. I've had a great day, it's been such a good experience. I'd love to do it again. It's been great to see all the smiles from people and people enjoying today. So yeah, it's really, really great to give back to people and happily do it again. This week, we launched our top 10 running moments from 2018. With so many amazing performances on the road, the track and the trail, it was really tough to pick our favourites. It certainly was, but for me, I think one of the moments that really stood out this year was seeing Killian Jornet smash Billy Bland's 36-year-old Bob Graham round record. Killian ran the 106 kilometre route in a time of 12 hours and 52 minutes, which is insane. Very impressive. 
On the road, there were loads of course records set and of course, big new world record set too. But I was really happy to see Mo Farah claim his first maiden marathon victory in Chicago. In only his third attempt, he secured a victory in two hours, five minutes and 11 seconds, proving he is just as competent at the long game. Also for me, jumping back to the European Championships in Berlin and seeing Dina Asher-Smith take gold in the 100 and 200 meters, break her own British record, and then take a third gold in the four by 100 meter relay. That's pretty impressive for British athletics. It certainly was, she is in fantastic form. You can check out all of our top moments if you hit the link now, and if we've missed any, tell us your favorite in the comments below. Now here are some of our favourite gifting ideas that any runner in your life would be happy to receive this Christmas. First up is CLE Caps. A brand that has made it their mission to make running hats that remain breathable, fit well and look awesome. So CLE hats are available in loads of different colours and styles, so there is a cap to suit every outfit. When it comes to gifting, what would Christmas be without a good pair of socks? We do have loads of sock varieties online, but Stance are another example of a brand that has dedicated themselves to making products that perform incredibly well and look awesome. We have a variety of styles online that can help jazz up any running outfit. Nutrition is always a hot topic with us runners, but there is one brand that's definitely been making its mark recently. With insights driven from elite athletes and science, Morton Energy Sachets provide you with 40 grams or 80 grams of carbohydrates for 500 ml and it's all made from natural ingredients and no artificial flavouring. Perfect for fueling the longer runs. Morten have fueled the likes of Elie Kipchoge, Mo Farah and many other world-class athletes who have gone on to achieve great success. Morten is now also available in a new gel form that makes it easier to carry in a pocket on race day or when carrying fluid is just not an option. If you want to start building your miles and running further in training, it's quite likely that you're going to need to take water, nutrition, jackets, and even an extra equipment if you want to start training for the ultra distances. We have a huge variety of options online, from lightweight belts with small pockets in, to larger packs that are really designed to go the distance. Go online now to check them all out, and if you want any advice on which pack is best for you, then just drop us a comment below. Now one of the key tools in a runner's arsenal is a good running watch. It'll help you monitor your progress, track your pace, and just see how you're getting on through your training. With that in mind, we want to bring to your attention the newest offering from Polar, the Vantage V. The V is Polar's latest premium GPS multi-sport watch. This is one for the data nerds. It's the all singing and dancing watch that is gonna help you run smarter. Water resistant, wrist-based heart rate monitor, and built-in running power monitor, so no extra sensors required for that. This watch will also help you avoid injury and overtraining via its Training Load Pro feature, allowing you to monitor how your sessions affect your body and how quickly you recover. You can check out this watch online now, along with our full range of running electronics. Just head online to prodirectrunning.com. We also have a video coming out very soon which compares some of our top running watch models just to make things a little bit easier and help you decide what you actually need from your running watch. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. Finally, we have running underwear from the Dorset based Runderwear. Now these are one of the newest brands to hit the product running shelves and their mission is to create chafe free performance running clothing for all. Their clothing has no side seams and is label free to prevent irritation and rubbing. The Runderwear technical fabric is extremely soft, breathable and highly effective at wicking sweat, ensuring you remain chafe free and in ultimate comfort no matter how many miles you run. So that's just a few ideas of some of our top recommendations for gifts for the runner in your life but make sure you go online now to check out our full range of running accessories. So hopefully 2018 has been a fantastic year for you and your running. But either way, it's now time to look ahead to 2019 and start setting some new goals. But it can be hard to know where to start, what is realistic and how would you get there. But we've asked some top level athletes at Fulham 10K and we'll leave you with that footage now. But thank you very much again for watching. This has been The Extra Mile, the show that helps you own your run. Uh, I sit down and I decide what I want to achieve uh, and decide whether that's realistic or not and then basically work back from there and try and work out what I need to do to achieve it. You need to go out and train, see what you're capable of. There's nothing going out there and busting a gut and thinking, oh, I've got to keep this up for an extra mile, etc. You've got your own pace, see what you're very capable of. Like I, was, I thought to myself I wasn't capable of the 10k today because it's so long. But I just thought, you've got to believe in yourself, it's all in the mind. Once you know you can do it, put your mind to it, whatever you want to achieve, it's very well capable of doing it. 
I think with any goal setting, you've obviously got to have in mind like where you want to go and you can be ambitious about that, but you've also got to keep in mind where you've come from. And I think that's the perfect way to find a middle ground on, on setting goals. But you know, just, just keep, try and keep it as realistic as you can by taking note of where you come from. Yeah, I think it's important to set mini goals within your larger goals. So when we look to the 2019 World Championships, it's almost 12 months away and it just can seem like quite a daunting task. So if we set it up into little goals, so for example, we have um, training blocks in specific periods. So I think to myself, right, at the end of this training block, I'd like to be so much better than I was at the start of that training block. And it just helps to, um, to, to break down the year into bite-sized chunks. That's exactly what she <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Hey! <laughs>